G'day legends, welcome to the round 7 review for BBL Supercoach 2022 and 3. Real short one for me today, so short, as a matter of fact that I've already done my 3 trades, I'll run you through exactly what I'm going to be doing, I don't care about last round honestly, as you can see the score, top 41%, really bad, fortunate to only drop 40 spots in the rank, just rubbish stuff, but I think I speak for a lot of people, but myself in particular was affected quite badly by the rain last night, Sydney, gee, that was an absolute stitch up, I was just so lucky that the Sixers actually got to bowl first, otherwise it would have been shambolic, but um, all in all, this is what my team's looking like coming through to this week, so I ended up getting a bit hungry, I did captain Richardson uh, last night <laughs> instead of taking shorts VC, a bit silly there. And I got stitched up with Stoin on field too. So I actually got Stoin 6 on field instead of Meredith's 32. So that's pretty much the only difference in between now and uh, last week. So my trades for this week. So this is pretty much what I'm thinking about doing. So what I'll be getting rid of Hales, Sam's. I think I don't know what the go is of Sam's, honestly. Is he playing this week? I don't really know, but I think I'm just going to get rid of him. Um, McSweeney, I know he's still got heaps of money to be to be made, but look, money's not really a problem for me. It's it's plain talent on field, and I think I'm going to utilise that. So we're going to go McDermott and Dooley for this week, and then this is an interesting one, so Ty. So I've weighed up between Alice. I think that's probably a, a sensible option, Alice, because he ha does have the double this week, but Ty has the double the following week. And I honestly think that would help with the boost that I've got that I'm going to use next week as well to get... Well, that's when the triple double is. So that's when the strikers, the, I think it's the scorchers and the stars have the doubles. So get as many players in for that week as I can. And I think Ty, honestly, can probably not outscore Alice in two games, but I think he can get pretty bloody close. He's been by far one of the most consistent picks and I'm spewing I haven't had him all year. I think I'll keep him all year. It's just that sort of safe pick, like a short type, um, like a Richardson before he done his hammy. I don't know how serious that is, but he's on the bench for now. Hopefully he can come back next week fit and firing. But this is what we're running with coming into round eight, and I'm bloody looking forward to it, honestly. I, I'm Tonight's game, I'm not, I'm not expecting this one to get many views, honestly, because by the time it's up, I say it all the time, but... Lockout would have already started, but um, yeah, I'm trying to be consistent with it, and I don't care. I'm just going to get these reviews up, but I think we're in a good spot. Um, very fortunate to, as I said, only drop 40 spots in the ranks. That's given me a little bit of confidence coming into this week, and hopefully we can smash it with 129k in the bank and 16 trades. Four will be gone for next week's boost, which will be really important but um yeah i'll leave it there guys just a really quick update for myself let me know how you guys are going what do you reckon of these trades uh, i'm pretty happy with them but yeah always keen to hear feedback from other people but look take it easy and as always i'll see you guys in the next video